Now at 5, the MBTA is considering shutting down the blue line every night for a month. Just eight days on the job, the T's new general manager laid out new plans to turn the T around, including getting rid of slow zones that have frustrated commuters for months. WBZ's Brandon Truitt joins us in studio now. Brandon, T has a bold proposal to address this. Yeah, Lisa, today we got something from the T commuters have really been seeking for years, transparency and a plan. The new general manager attending his first board meeting and hearing from riders who did not hold back. Good morning. I'm sorry I was late. I, uh, I took the tea. For the first time since before the pandemic, the MBTA Board of Directors allowing in-person public comments. In the last three years, I've seen firsthand the cascading collapse of MBTA service and function. I wonder to myself if I should just walk instead of taking the tea. And it's because I cannot go to school on time and I'm always late whenever I have to ride. These riders making their case to the board and to the T's new general manager, Philip Eng. We are in the beginning stages of a top to bottom review. Eng says he was following challenges with the T before he was even hired, adding his first week on the job has been eye opening. These first eight days have validated the urgency have the need to change how we approach all of the vital work ahead. During Wednesday's meeting, Aang laid out plans for the Blue Line slow zones for the first time, suggesting they could be in place through November. Right now, the Blue Line has 21 speed restrictions, adding about 15 minutes of travel time down the line. The MBTA is hoping to get rid of a third of those restrictions by next month as work to fix the rails and ties continue. To expedite it, Ng is proposing a month of early closures for the Blue Line, suggesting daily 7 p.m. shutdowns would allow for overnight work. Shuttle buses would roll out. It's unclear when that proposal will go into effect. Ng says similar plans for the orange and red line are in development. I understand your frustrations. I am committed to bringing the MBTA to a state of good repair. So Ng has his hands full here. The feds are still on the MBTA about making those urgent safety changes. Just yesterday, two dozen new Green Line trains were pulled out of rotation following those issues on Marathon Monday. All the while, ridership is still just half of what it was pre-pandemic. Paula. Big job ahead. Brandon Truitt, thank you.